Hey, it's Brian with the Midnight Mechanic with your tech tip for today. Today we're going to show you a clutch line replacement that you can get through our other business, Third Pedal Engineering. Now this is a factory clutch line replacement for a fourth gen F body, but can also be used when swapping manual transmissions into other vehicles. So we'll show you what it is, how to install it, and why it's better than what you can get from the factory. So in a factory LST56, they have this quick disconnect fitting that's used for your factory clutch line. Now, the factory clutch line has problems with heat soak where people at the track, as their car gets warmer, they'll end up with pedal pressure issues. Well, we don't want that problem. So I looked around and I came up with these fittings that replace the factory fittings on your factory slave and your factory clutch master. Then you can install this insulated line that does not have heat soak problems. So it's very easy to do. We'll show you how to do it. Here's our factory slave and our factory LT1 clutch master. Now the fittings are the same between an LT1 and an LS1 car, but this is the one we're gonna use in our LS1 swap in the Firebird, so we're gonna show you how to do it. It's as easy as knocking out the roll pins with the punch and replacing those factory fittings with these aftermarket fittings. Once you have all your tools, you can go ahead and knock out that roll pin. I opened the drawer here so when the roll pin falls out, it falls down into the drawer and not on the floor. So make sure you have something to catch it. Now you just remove the factory fitting. Make sure that you get the seal out from what was on there. The new one will have a seal. Then you just take this, pop it in, take your roll pin and reinstall it. Now your new fitting is on there and ready to have your clutch line installed. Move over now to your clutch master. Be careful with this one because this is composite and not aluminum like the other one, so it's a little bit more fragile. Once that is out, you can pull the fitting out. Again, make sure that you get that little seal out. Slide your new fitting in, reinstall that roll pin. Now you're ready to install them in the car. One thing to know with this kit is that in order to install it, you need to have the transmission out of the car. Because the hose screws onto that fitting that you installed, it's done inside the bell housing and it's impossible to install it without already having it out. So, Wait till you gotta replace the clutch or pull the transmission for any other reason before you go ahead and buy this kit to install it. Now, in order to install it, you just put the end through the bell housing, screw it on, tighten it down with the wrench, flare nut wrench, whatever, and then you're ready to run this up and connect it to the master cylinder. Now you have a cheap and easy way to upgrade the clutch line in your fourth gen F body or make it easier on yourself to do a manual transmission swap in a different vehicle. This one is the factory length for a fourth gen, but will also work for a T56 swap into a third gen. If you have anything else you'd like to learn about, any tools you'd like to see, post down below in the comments. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at The Midnight Mech. Follow us on TikTok at The Midnight Mechanic. Check our other page out on Facebook, Third Pedal Engineering, and we'll see you guys next time.